it's natural. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca. And today I am doing the full meal deal, the glam, one and only Scott Barnes, the JLo inspired looks. Updated, I did this years ago. Honestly, it got a really good response. Um, I enjoyed the results so much and then I'm so lazy I don't ever do it. But apparently there's a new trend on the socials, the TikToks, the reels, I don't know. And folks are like, oh my God, it's like reverse. It's like you do all this contour and then your foundation over it. And it's so new. Folks, folks, especially, especially creators, influencers in the 20 something category, do your homework. <laughs> there are makeup artists out there that have been doing this for decades and they're on social media too. They're not dinosaurs. This is going to be a little lengthy and uh, detailed and I think it's fun and I love these. If you wanna just like mute it and turn on captions and <laughs> just watch the process, I'm totally, I get that because because I do that too. Yeah, it's fun. All right, well the first thing to do, I'm not, and also for uh, the fine print, um, I did, yes, I did this before, and I'm kind of adapting it to my comfort level, my preference. Um, I probably won't go as involved as the contour and the bronzing and kind of the down the neck, but I do love these kind of makeup looks, and let's get going. I'm wearing skincare, I've got my dermatology sunscreen on and i'm going to try the new dermatology primer this is a new product this is their blur prep and i love dermatology products so <laughs> okay i'm going to put it in my t-zone around my nose and my forehead yeah and I'm gonna see how that works. I have a dermatology discount code, so anything you wanna check out from them, use my link and my code. All right, so this is from the Doll Face line. I got this at Rite Aid. It's the contour stick. I love it. I don't know if Rite Aid is closing out of Doll Face Beauty because it's all like 40% off, but yeah, it's good stuff. Okay, so the whole idea Oh, I'm doing this backwards already. I'm supposed to put on concealer first. I will do that. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're, we're contouring. Got my color correctors. I'm gonna put those on my lids and right here. Oh, okay. Just a bit. And then we are putting on. This is the Revolution Beauty in Real Life or IRL filter, whatever. Okay. I kind of like to do a rough, uh, not a rough, but a, a bit of a, a pre, a, bl a pre blend of the br blend. <laughs> okay. And now I'm going to use the Revlon, the Illuminance foundation. This is so nice. I like to do this look with a, foundation that is not a lot of coverage um, and I like to put it on with a makeup brush that I mean it can either be like this or the um, 
BK Beauty one. Yeah, so I just like, I want to get a very skin-like finish. And I try to do the light parts before I go over the, the dark. But the cool thing is, the whole point is that it's kind of, you know, sort of takes the, the work out of the blend. Although, aren't we always gonna keep blending? Let's be real. Hashtag never enough blending. <laughs> Hashtag more blending. Blend, blend, blend. All right, now I'm gonna really buff that in, go down my neck and throat to, yeah, over my ears. Don't forget your ears, especially if you're like me and your ears turn red. When you're either drinking alcohol or just having a conversation, you don't even have to be embarrassed. You just get excited and your ears turn red. So, so I want to do a light set of powder. I'm going to go over some areas with just a very soft tap of my brush and go over do like a pre-powder. This is the Revolution Beauty, uh, this is the like blur powder, and it has both pressed and loose. And actually, I do the pressed part just very softly as almost a blot, and then I'm going to go in and do more of the loose powder. And I will take my Beauty Blender little pocket thing here, love it. And now I'm opening up the, oh! I don't know why I shook it up so much. A lot of product, a lot of product. That was, that was not necessary what I did. I don't know why, I thought it, okay. So, just pressing. Uh. Mm -hmm. I really like getting my, um, this part of my face powdered. I think I've talked about that before. It's almost like, it's like my beard, you know? Okay. This powder is only $10 and there's two powders in it. I, I cannot get over how good this powder is, you guys. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to put some powder. Uh, I, well, here, I'll show you in just a minute. Okay. Do you remember this? Scott Barnes, his contour palette. Oh, love it. It's snatch that face. This is phenomenal, very pigmented. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's incredible. I mean, it is, it is something. And I'm gonna go in this uh, shade right here called Carve. And let's just kind of see. Oh, good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> yeah, nice, okay. Got my BK Beauty. This is the 112. I like it because it's angled and, um, but it's a little bit fluffy. Ooh, yeah, okay, okay. Cool thing about this is it has so many undertones. I mean, it's, uh, I'm not like, I'm not selling it or anything. <laughs> this is not sponsored, but it is like, if you need something for all skin tones, this is it. So I'm gonna go in also for bronzer in frame, which is just a little redder, red, red, more red. Not too much product, I'm tapping off the excess or yeah but see how 
Okay. It's got a bit of a red undertone to it. So you really, I mean, look at that. That's, that's a lot. I have to blend that. <sighs> okay. Also, <laughs> are you ready? Take the one, take the brush that you used for your foundation and whatever little bit is on there, which I kind of wiped it off, just go in, even over the powder products, everything that you've already done, if there's a little bit of foundation on your brush, look at that. I know, right? <laughs> you guys. I'm going to do some shut up. ColourPop Melrose. I just picked it because I think it's got a lot of pretty shades. It's affordable. Um, so I'm just kind of going in two shades right here. Feel free to just do whatever, you know? Whatever is fun for you. I am all about using what you got. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and I'm going to go in with a darker shade right here. I'm keeping this just sort of right in the crease. I'm not going up too high. I'm just working it back and forth. And I also took it to my lower lash line around the corner. And then I'm going to take a clean brush and marry, marry those two colors together. Or I should say, just marry the uh, the line, you know. I'm just gonna put my finger in a very shimmery pale shade. Put that right here, because that's always pretty. It's always pretty. <laughs> no fallout. Right? Nothing special. No cut crease, nothing. Just this. Yeah. Here is a pencil that's white or off white. You know, you could do whatever you want. You can go here we're gonna go along my line like so okay this is flower beauty i like it because it's like off-white <laughs> wow that looks weird on camera before my mascara but we'll fix it and i'm going to just go right here I love, I like to just kind of put something just right there, just for some carving out those brows, right? Okay, speaking of brows, let's do that. This is a Maybelline Brow Studio. What is this? Tattoo Studio 36 hour brow. I totally forgot I had this. Um, I, I like it. This one is kind of waxy, and I think I bought it in like a brunette shade. So I use it with caution. I'm going in with my Blink Brow Mousse. My, my brows are gonna be strong, okay? I don't know if I approve. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. 
Too strong? Too strong. I'll fix them. I will fix them. I'm actually going to go again. This is just the highlight portion of the Wet n Wild contour stick. Just a flat like shadow or concealer brush. And you just want to gently kind of, it's, you're just using m millimeters, you know? It's like, oof. Just letting that, yeah. I am going to use my uh, Cheek Leaders Pink Squad. I got this for Black Friday two years ago. I'm gonna go in with the Dandelion. Um, I did it as a, like, to do dupe research, and uh, yeah, it was a good deal. So I actually did not spend a lot of money on it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Mented lipstick, uh, Mented in Peach. I'm just following my natural lip line. Gotta love our uh, elf, right? Shade Vocal. Okay. And then this is the Maybelline. Oh God, I love this one, you guys. It's Nude Lust and it is one of my all-time favorite nude lipsticks. I love that it makes, it's more of a, I always, I don't wear this by itself. I always either use a liner or another shade to, to pair it with, cause yeah, you'll see. It's very pale. This is the NYX Epic Smoke Liner. Um, it's kind of, yeah, it was supposed to be like this. Oh, you know, use it like shadow as well because it had this really cool brush on the end. Um, you know, I'm going to just sort of get it in here. I remember, I think I kind of liked it. I think it didn't give me enough. I don't remember. I am lining just along my lashes. And then, <laughs> this is not a Scott Barnes method. This is, <laughs> as far as I know, this is a Rebecca Lazy method. I just take my pencil at the corner and uh, and blink and blink to uh, to wing it out. Mm -hmm. I do like this brush, you guys. This little blender brush on the edge of this is almost worth getting this liner. So I do have a couple mascaras that I really enjoy that I did find from, I think it was Taylor Margaret. This is off of Amazon and I think it's a K-Beauty. It's the Mish, no, the Hymish. And it is, I think, a tubing mascara. It doesn't give me a ton of drama, but what it does is it's such a good first coat um, because it really creates a lash lift. So, 
I like to put it on. It doesn't, it, it, I think it's tubing because when I wash it away, I wash it off. It's like tubes in the sink, you know? Okay. So this Koki mascara in Lash Euphoria, <laughs> why did that come out like that? Is what uh, is really fun. And then, yeah, so you use kind of like a, a slimmer bristle brush, maybe with a lift. Then you go in with a really fibery, thick mascara. So good. Gonna go on the other side. I got my Flower Beauty. This is the highlight, the Spotlight liquid highlighter, shade Opal. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, put it on my finger, but then kind of tap it off. We are just doing a, almost a highlight highlight, right? We wanna make sure we are highlighted Where the, we want the skin to kind of pop. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with the Good. Well folks, I'm gonna do my hair and change into a better shirt and come back and we can talk about our final thoughts. Uh, I feel like this makeup on camera doesn't look anything dramatic, anything too much. Like obviously a lot went into it. If you know kind of how the sausage was made, you're like, that was a lot. But honestly, this, this is why this is called Snatural because it has a way of just looking good and very wearable, doable every day. But you know, nothing too, nothing too much. Thank you, Scott Barnes, for the original inspiration. And clearly, I definitely laid low on bronzer, tanner, highlight, etc. So I just sort of did it for me on this Tuesday. <laughs> that worked. Um, but I just think it's really pretty makeup and all of you out there who uh, are like, oh my God, this new method, mm, maybe not so new. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know any other inspired looks you want to see me play with. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.